All right, what's going on, guys? It is another live stream here on YouTube, on the channel. Getting a little bit more professional with everything. Got my mic. The, the other live stream I did, I had this mic and I put it on the ground and I forgot to put on my shirt. Now I got the camera set up. Hopefully that doesn't get all blurry on you guys. I think it is. Is it a little blurry on you guys? Man, looking a little blurry, huh? Let me look. Okay, there we go. It's just my thing. All right, so everything's looking good. Let's go on and see what's going on. Who's here? Azezo Black, what's going on? All right, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. I know I did. You know, Thanksgiving always coincides with my birthday. So it's either it's either falls on Thanksgiving or it falls like a Thanksgiving a week. And it's great that it falls that in that during that time because Black Friday also happens. So people who need to buy me presents, they are lucky enough to get all the sales and I get, you know, some pretty good presents because of that. And uh, I, this year I actually told people that I didn't really need too many presents because I do get a lot of stuff from, uh, I do get a lot of stuff from people. I do get a lot of stuff from, from companies uh, like watches. And what, what I usually wanted during my birthday was watches or earphones. And, you know, that's what I was getting. So, so, so there we go. So let's go ahead and talk about what I got for my birthday. What did I get? So let's go. All right, so one of the things that I got for my birthday was from Anna. Anna decided to get me a pair of shoes. These are my Newton Distance Nines. Uh, they're the they're they're stuff that I really like. I, I I ran the other shoes to death. I ran about maybe 300, 400 miles on them. These are brand new. You can see they have all of the lugs still on there. So pretty happy that she got me these shoes. So I'll be training in these shoes for my mile. Uh, gonna be gonna be fun. Uh, she couldn't find the other color because I do have this colorway already, but since these are brand new, I'll be using these for sure. Newton Distant Nines, those are what I got. And then the next thing that I got is for my channel. You know, I wanted to make my channel and uh, I asked for a gimbal. My sister asked me what I wanted, and I got a gimbal for the camera that I'm using right here to stream on. I got this gimbal. It's I usually do have gimbals for my GoPros, but I don't have a gimbal for my mirrorless camera. And I told you guys that I wanted to be a little bit more cinematic. So this is going to be a fun thing to use for my, uh, you know, for, for my videos. If I ever get to filming another ultra marathon, this will be definitely in use. What did you guys get on on for, for on a Black Friday? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys got for Black Friday and what did you get me for my birthday? That's what I want to know. Just kidding. What did you get for Black Friday? So I got this gimbal. Uh, this should be fun. I've been trying to mess around with it. You do have to balance it. So I've been watching some other videos to see what exactly I need to do to learn how to use this gimbal. So it's fun. It locks. See? Different, different modes, all this all this fun stuff. So got a gimbal, happy with that. Uh, there was one thing that my brother got me. Where is it? My brother got me a Nintendo DS. You guys know what that is? Or no, N Nintendo Switch. I'm not a gamer, so I don't really know too much about games, but he got me this Nintendo Switch for my birthday. Uh, and he got me this game. The reason why he got me the Nintendo Switch is because of this game. You guys ever heard of it? It's called Ring Fit Adventures. It's kind of like a uh kind of like a workout game. So basically, you put you put one of the remote controls on your thigh and then you go around and like jog it in place and then you have this little where is it? You have this little ring that you press. And it's actually a pretty tough ring, so you could press it pretty hard and then you pull it away. You do different workouts, you know, you could do that kind of stuff. So I'll definitely have a video over this. I'll probably do a 30 day challenge with this little ring fit adventure. I've been using it. You get a good little sweat working up. So that's good. The next thing that I got is this. This is the Ilangu uh, motorized dolly system thing. So this is basically a little car, right? So basically what you could do is put my mirrorless camera on it, or I can put my phone on it, and then there's a remote control, and this thing will go around like some product. So it will just circle around 
whatever I needed to circle around. So that's what I got. So that should be fun. This is also gonna be a good thing for product reviews or even just B-roll whenever I'm out there filming myself, I could have some movement in the camera. So it's a little bit more interesting for everybody to watch. And then, oh, what else did I get? I got, I got this thing for myself. You guys wanna check it out? Let's take this off right here. There, take this off. I got this, I got this shirt, Goku Runner Club. I got this for myself. I thought it was a, it'd be a fun little thing to make. If you guys know about, if you guys know about um, Canva, canva.com, it's a pretty good website for you creators or even anybody in the business, really. It's a, uh, you just make stuff. I've been making my thumbnails on it and I thought, and I saw you can make a logo. So I made this logo on it and they said that you could put it on a shirt. So I was like, what the heck? Let's make a Goku Runner Club shirt. So I made this for myself, thought it'd be fun. So that's what I got. I also got some other shirts from Hylit. I bought these, these were on sale. They were like 12 bucks, but I got the size large and I thought I'd I thought I'd be able to fit in it, but these two shirts are too small for me. So they're only, I needed a size extra large and I got these on sale. So they don't, they don't uh, take refunds of them or exchanges. So I'm stuck with these shirts. Anybody out there a large? Azazel Black, are you a large? I, I think, hey, Jason, are you a large? What's going on? Azazel Black is saying happy late give thanks. <laughs> Giving thanks, yes, that's right. Then the Nintendo Switch is a great system and I didn't get anything for Black Friday. Oh, you gotta, it's still cyber week, cyber. I'm getting all these emails about all these little cyber deals. So it's still cyber. Uh, the year I got to run, Jason he says, hi, Goku. Happy belated birthday. Thank you. And he's a medium. So yeah, I'm stuck with these shirts. I think what I'm going to do next time is get an extra large. If it doesn't fit me, I can, I kind of know how to tailor st some stuff. So I'll, it's better to get larger than a super tight shirt. If I, if I, if I lose maybe 20 pounds, these shirts will be gold shirts. So yeah. What else? What else did I get? Oh, I also got something else from my, from my other brother. But I'm gonna wait until I'm gonna wait until uh, I'm gonna release that. Oh, I'll go ahead and say my brother, my older brother. He is a shoe guru. He loves all these shoes. He has probably fifty to sixty shoes in his room, and they're all super crazy, like Jordans. And I don't even know. I'm not a I'm not a big shoe geek, but he's getting me the Vaporfly Next Percents. So I told him that was too expensive, but he was like, you know, it's your birthday. I'm gonna buy it for you. So he's getting me the Vapor fly next for sense. We'll see how this uh, heavy dude can run. I'm going to see if I can run a sub seven minute mile in those. So that should be a fun little video to see if those, so those vapor fly next for sense actually get me faster. So that should be fun. All right. So what else? So that's, so that's what I got. Oh, what else I got? I also got some uh, sunglasses. Uh, you know, I made that video, the live stream last time about those knock around sunglasses. And knock around sunglasses are great. They're just like gooder sunglasses, but they are cheaper. And and on and on Black Friday, they were only 12 bucks uh with free shipping. So I got me a pair of those also. So got me some sunglasses. Jason, what, what did you get? Let's see. It says a black, he's an XXL. Awesome, man. Yeah. Hey, work on it. And yeah, maybe maybe I have a, a XXL. I do have an XXL. Uh, Goku, uh, uh, Golden Triangle Shredder shirt. Maybe you can have that. Since you comment so much, I want to give you something. Oh, I am frozen. I'm frozen. What the heck? Let's see. There you go. Good. I caught it. All right. All right. So what else? Uh, so, so did you guys catch my controversial topic that I had the other day. I was talking about not pausing your Garmin during your run. And I didn't think it would be so controversial, but a lot of people were not happy with me. They thought, you know, I, it's, and I said before the video, I said, it's okay if you pause your run. It doesn't matter to me if you pause your run, you could pause it all you want. You can use auto pause. That's fine. But there are some people in the comment section that were not too happy with me about saying that, uh, pausing the Garmin is something that you shouldn't do. Uh, and you know, I, and I even said in the video that when I was a newbie runner and, and being a newbie runner, isn't a bad thing. I said that 
I said that I did it too. I paused my my Garmin to try to to try to get faster or try to have my pace faster. But I realized after I did a race and I paused my I paused my Garmin one time and I forgot to start it back up during a race. So that after that, I stopped using auto pause because during a race you can't use auto pause and it screwed up my time. I didn't have my Gar I didn't have my Garmin time match up with my with my overall time. So I wasn't too happy about, about that. So now I don't auto pause whatsoever, but if you guys auto pause, that's awesome. That's awesome. I, and there was a lot of different comments on that too. So pretty, pretty interesting. Maybe I'll just some more hot take running, running topics. Do you guys know of any uh, hot take running topics I should talk about? Like uh, is, is a vapor fly next percent cheating? Is that, is that a hot topic or, or what's another hot topic? Uh, you should only run. You can, you should only run without a shirt if you have a six pack. These are some good topics that I'm going to talk about and hopefully get a bunch of views. <laughs> uh, so that's all I'm going to do now. I'm just going to do a bunch of hot take topics like a like a like a what's it called on on hot on, on ESPN. <laughs> all right, let's see what's, what's going on in the in the chat. Jason says he'd watch that video. He, he was talking about the video about me doing the bit. I I got I got Nike Vaporfly next percent from my oldest brother. He he bought me those shoes, and I'm gonna do a run to see if that actually makes you faster. So we'll see if those Vaporflies actually make me faster. So that should be interesting. So Haley says she doesn't pause. He doesn't pause, and Haley doesn't either. Yeah, you know it's a personal preference. If you guys pause, that's fine. I generally don't. And I also said in the video that if it's longer than 30 seconds, it, I pause too sometimes. Like if somebody was talking to me or if I had a bathroom break, I pause too. So, you know, it just depends on the situation. Pausing is not a bad thing, but generally you shouldn't pause, especially especially in a, in a run. I, what, what's this one? I, mean, I don't mean to comment so much. It's so much you can say about running. Yeah, that's true. I, I told somebody, I told somebody that I can't really, all these topics that I talk about, like I make a video a lot. I've been making a lot of videos, so I'm running out of topics. So <laughs> whenever I come up with a topic, I like to talk about it. And that's the one that popped in my head that day. So I made it. I made it. And Azezo Black, I love your comments. Keep commenting all the crazy comments that you want to comment. Sometimes you ask, you ask normal comments and other times, you know, <laughs> they're just out there. I'm like, what is he talking about? So Gordon Christie, he says, pause for poop break is okay. Yep, for sure. Bio breaks, pause, especially on a training run. Uh, should you call runners joggers? I think I did a video about that. I, I did about a video about what's the difference between a jogger and a runner. That was a, that was, I don't know how many views that got, but it was pretty good. Kelly Benedetti's here. Ultra Kelly, what's going on? Azezo Black, your comments rock. That's true. I love his comments. Kelly is pumping gas. Awesome. She's probably going to go home. Or she's probably going to work, one or the other. But she's there's probably some cow poop on her somewhere, right? <laughs> All right. So what was I talking about? Yeah, so you guys have any other controversial running topics that I should talk about that, that should be interesting, that I should make a video out of? Yeah, let me know. I, I need I need topics to make more videos because, uh, you know, I, I was, I'm doing a lot of reviews right now because reviews is it's December, so there's so many reviews to be made. But I don't want to do all reviews on my channel. I want to break them up with running topics, so it's not all running reviews all the time. Because I know, I know, I'm, I'm not a big fan of running reviews. I know that a lot of y'all don't come to my channel for running reviews, so I try to break it up with other topics, just so, just so uh, I can, uh, you know, so, so just so you guys have something interesting to watch, other than me talking about another massage gun. Wow. And I do have the massage gun. I will be giving it away. In the last live stream, if you guys missed it, I gave away a massage gun. So, uh, hey, if I get, if I get, let's go for 35 likes. If I get 35 likes on this video, I'm going to give away something else. I don't know what it's going to be, but I will mail you something. Maybe I'll mail you one of these large shirts that I don't fit, but I will mail you something. Maybe I'll mail you a Goku Runner Club shirt. So if I get 35 likes on this video, I will mail you something. It'll be fun. I did mail Jason over there the, the year I got the runs. I mailed him a barbecue stuff uh, from Texas because he 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 uh, he uh, sent me some stuff too. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not yet. So if I get 35 likes, 
y'all will get something else. But I will give this away later on in the video. I know Kelly, I know Kelly, uh, she, she's entered to this. So let's go on. What's everybody saying? Gordon, I'm on a nine mile treadmill run at Texas Fit. Ah, cool. Does race swag really matter? Yeah, that's a great topic. I think I, I think I might do that. Jason, you you should do a you should do a, a, a more podcast. I, I love those little podcasts that you do. The little uh, uh, interview session you had with Haley, loved it. It was great. So. So yeah, does race swag really matter? That that would be a good topic. Maybe I'll do that. Thanks, Jason. I probably will do that. Uh, you know, you know, back in the day when we did races early in 2010 to 2008, they only gave race medals to half marathoners and marathoners. They didn't give it to the 10 Kers and 5 Kers. And when they did start doing that, all the half marathoners, all the marathoners, it was like a big thing. That was controversial. That was like, why are the 5 Kers and 10 Kers getting a medal? They don't deserve it. They need to do a half marathon and marathon. But now, you know, everybody gets a medal. So that's what it is. Carlos Bustamante, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Oh, I could do, I forgot, I forgot I could do this. He says, what, what's the benefits? I'm assuming you're talking about what's the benefits of the massage gun. Uh, massage gun helps, you know, to uh, get re release that re lactic acid in your body that you get, you get it build up after a workout. It helps bring blood flow to the muscles. All that good stuff. I love massage guns. If you guys don't have one, make sure to get one. Uh, make sure you look at amplitude and power. Sometimes you get a massage gun that isn't too powerful. And unfortunately, this one is one of those that is more vibration-based. But some people like more vibration-based also. So, so yeah. Uh, let's see. So that's, that's what it is, Carlos. Uh, let's see. What's this one say? Great topic. Personally, no. What, what, what does that mean, Kelly? What does that mean? So, the year I got the runs, he loved it. Gee, thanks for the giant shirt. <laughs> hey, if if I think I will give away a Goku Runner Club shirt. Uh, so, let me know your size if you do win. So, I'll do that. It's like 20 bucks. So, I will give you guys a shirt as thanks for checking out my live stream. So, if I get to 35 35. I know that's going to be a pretty big number to get, but if I get that number, yeah, somebody will get a shirt. All right. COVID ruined that. Yeah. J if you guys don't know Jason, Jason, he runs the channel the year I got the runs. Great channel. Go ahead and check him out. Subscribe to his channel. He's almost at 1,000 subscribers and he makes a lot of great content. He used to run a race every weekend. He would run a 5K, 10K, half marathon, whatever distance he could get, and he would make a video. And and they're great. He edits. He he's a really good editor, really great with graphics. So check out Jason's channel. All right, here's John JDS. Hey, fun live chat tonight. Yeah, live chat. Get that coffee going. I have some coffee from Panera. I'm still getting that free coffee. Actually, Anna is getting the free coffee. I'm just uh, bumming off of her. I also have my Rockets cup. If you guys don't know, Rockets just they just traded Russell Westbrook for John Wall, which is uh, kind of crazy. So, but that's not running. We'll talk about other things. All right, Kelly says she's waiting to win one. Yeah, I have so many massage guns. I'm trying to get I'm not trying to. I'm trying to get rid of them. I want to sell them. I would love to make money out of them. But for you guys, I'm giving this one away. We'll do that a little bit later. So, let's go. All right, so Jason wants to know a little bit about the Golden Triangle. Yeah, the Golden Triangle is the area over here in Southeast Texas. It's over here all the way Southeast Texas. So right past, right through Houston. So right through Houston, almost near the Louisiana border. That's where that's where I live, Beaumont, Beaumont, Port Arthur, Orange. That's That makes up the uh, Golden Triangle. And it's called Beaumont, but there's no beautiful mountains over here. Super flat, super flat. All right, so we'll talk about my running injury. What's going on with it? You guys know that I stabbed myself. I actually threw away that piece of ceramic. That that hurt, man. I was making that video, and I got up, and I stepped on that piece of ceramic, and I was like, holy moly, what the heck was, was is on my heel? I looked down, and there was a, literally, it was literally like a quarter inch into my heel. 
I pulled it out, blood started spewing, and it was pretty painful. So I was trying to let me let me get rid of that right there. All right. So yeah, so uh it hurt. I, I was I was lipping on it for the next maybe three days, maybe four days. And then yesterday I went for a walk, about a two-mile walk, and uh it felt okay, but there was a little bit of pain still. So I don't want to open it up. It, right now it's on the itchy stage. So it, it right now it's on the itchy stage. So itchy stage. So it's it's healing, but I'm gonna give it one more day. I'll probably start running. Uh, let's say let's go. Let's just start running this weekend. So I'll start running this weekend in pre in preparation for that seven seven minute mile in my new Alpha Fly Next Percents. So yeah, it's healing, but not that great. All right. That makes so much sense now. I know what golden tri triangle is. Yeah. I, apparently there's a lot of golden triangles. I know there was a golden triangle somewhere in Dallas. Somebody somebody mentioned that somewhere in the Fort Worth, Dallas early area. That's where a golden triangle is. And there's one over here. So Azezo Black, he says, did you see the way Jake Paul ran over Nate in the boxing match? Oh, my goodness. I wish I could watch it. I didn't watch it, but I saw all the replays. And Jake Paul, <laughs> I saw a meme where they said that but Jake Paul, if you guys don't know, he's a super big YouTuber and now he's uh, getting into boxing. And the meme was, better like and subscribe to my channel. And he knocked out uh, Nate Robinson. And that that dude got knocked out. I need to watch a replay of it, the whole the whole fight because I heard he got uh, he got pummeled. Like he had no defense whatsoever. I need to watch it. Kelly Benedetti, the sound clip was, yeah, there were so many F-bombs. And I didn't know I had such a dirty mouth. You know, I tried not to curse, but, man, that that was freaking painful. <laughs> All right. All right. Carlos Bustamante, he says, what app are you tracking on? Uh, so right now, since I am reviewing a bunch of watches, I use Garmin and I use Polar. So... So my, my tracking on that is not that great. So I use Garmin every once in a while, pull every once in a while, but I put all my information onto Strava. So I use Strava to, you know, comp, comp to, I, <laughs> I can't even say that word. I use, I use, I use Strava to have all my data there so that I can see all of my mileage over there. So Strava basically, but they both sync into the Polar and Garmin do sync into um, Strava. So that's what I use. The year I got the Jason, the year I got the runs, I just started doing daily yoga and has helped my running already. You know, that's a good video, Jason. That's a good video. Yoga and running. Yoga, yoga, how yoga helped my running. <laughs> giving you, giving you tips. Not tips, just giving you something. All right, Kelly. Hey, Kelly, go follow Jason, man. Jason, Jason makes great, great videos. You'll love Kelly. Kelly is the best. Kelly, like all you guys, all you guys on here are the best, but Kelly. She she's great. She leaves some um, some awesome comments. I really appreciate it. Uh, she's great. She she really loves yoga. It improves all my sports. Yeah, you know I think I said this before, but when I hurt my back, I started doing a lot of yoga, doing P90X and stre strengthening my body. Uh, so yoga is great. I I it's 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 tough to do for the hour. Like you don't want to go out there and do it for a whole hour. You're like that's so long doing yoga. But you never regret it. Like afterwards, you feel so zen, and they're like namaste and and uh, saying all those little chants. It gets a little bit too like almost religiously religious for me at points. But uh, I love the yoga. It's it's very calming, very relaxing. You should do a thirty day yoga challenge. I should. You know, at the beginning of the year, I bought. I bought like a 15 day pass. It was a 15 day vouchers for yoga and I paid 150 bucks for it. And I used one, I used one freaking voucher and I wasted all that money. So I just, I just donated 140 bucks to the yoga studio. But I guess it's a good thing since COVID did happen and they needed the money, but I like money too. <laughs> good idea, go Goku, I'll have to do that, yeah. I love uh, Jason does like uh, tours around his town. He lives in Kansas City, Missouri. Apparently, there's a Kansas City, Missouri, and a Kansas City, Kansas. Very confusing, but he does little tours around his his town where he goes through all the uh, the graffiti walls and all the uh, all the little landmarks. 
really interesting. I need to do that too. There's a lot of little murals over here too. So I might steal your idea. Kelly, she's an obnoxious cheerleader. <laughs> no, you're great. You're, I know everybody appreciates I know John probably appreciates you too. So, oh, this is a question I want to ask all you guys. What non-running YouTube channels do y'all watch? I know you guys watch my channel all the time because my channel is the best channel. But what other running you what non-running YouTube channels do you watch? The world wants to know. The ones that I like, there's a guy named Max Tuning. Uh, he it, it's it's when I uh, watch I like to watch uh, like like strength training videos and he used to do a lot of strength training, but his videos the way he edits are great. If you if you want to watch find something who's kind of obnoxious but really entertaining, Max Tuning. Uh, he, he started a candy company and he lifts weights. Really, really good stuff. Uh, another another one that I watch is Off the Ranch. Off the Ranch, this is a guy, I found him because he's uh, building, a, uh, an, an, un, un, he's building, he's rebuilding and uh, renovating an, un, uh, an abandoned mansion. My goodness. He's renovating an, an abandoned mansion. That's why I edit. This is why I edit so much. You would, if you saw my rough cuts, it would be crazy. It would just be me, me repeating myself a million times until I get the sentence out. <laughs> so let's see. Yeah, I, 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 I know. I know. Jason also runs. He, he also watches a lot of YouTube videos now. Like I almost don't watch any type of Netflix or I don't watch cable television at all. I'm just watching a bunch of YouTube channels, man. I, it's great. And it's free. Man, all these subscriptions. I think everybody's having a subscription now. Like. Uh, NBC's getting one. ABC has one. CBS, you'd be paying like so much money for all these uh, subscriptions. So let's see. Frank is in the house. What's going on, Frank? All right, I have to go back up. Thanks, Jeremy. I'm an obnoxious cheerleader. Frank is late. Yuck. No overly religious, too slow. Go for the Lenic yoga. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's nice to do like the I, I don't know what they're called. Anna, my girlfriend, she loves yoga. She she actually has a yoga yoga whatever. She's a she she could be a teacher in yoga. She has she has her she's certified yoga teacher. So, uh, but she doesn't really teach me. But we go to classes. Carlos, he asked me, where do you find hills around Houston? You don't. There's no hills around Houston. What we do, we do we go through uh, parking garages. We find parking garages or bridges. That's what we that's that's where we do hills. Yeah, so I've done a few videos with a uh, hill training on, on a on parking garages, and uh, there's there's actually there's the biggest bridge over in Port Arthur. It's like the highest bridge in Texas. I think it still might be the Rainbow Bridge. Uh, that's a that's a good one to run. All right, the year I got the runs, I started doing weekly yo weekly yoga in the park the week before COVID ended. It yeah, it sucks, man. I just started going back into the gym, and then <laughs> Texas got crazy again. In fact, over here, I think I just got a, no a notification on on something, and it said that we are at fifteen percent capacity, and our our hospitals are uh, they're pretty much overloaded. So if we get overloaded for uh, seven days straight, then they're going to start doing lockdowns again or some kind of something. But nobody's going to follow it because in, uh, especially in Southeast Texas, I think maybe 20% of the people follow, you know, the, the mask guidelines. If you go to Walmart, there's literally nobody wearing it. They'll, they'll put it on at the beginning and take it off. That's a controversial topic right there. The mask, mask, and turning off your, turning and pausing your Garmin during a workout. Those are two controversial workouts. Uh, I mean, Two controversial topics for sure. Steal away. Yes, I will. I'm going to steal all your ideas, Jason. Come on. All right. Rick Viato. I, yeah, I don't know these guys. You, you got to give me some more uh, info on them. Like, what do they, what are their, what are their topics? I like to watch, uh, like, food channels. If you watch, uh, like, which is one I watch? Jonathan Wiseman. He, uh. He cooks. He's like a he's like a a pro chef that now he just he just does YouTube, and I love cooking. I did a uh, if you guys search through my videos, I did a a uh, breakfast taco episode. 
in here. I brought a little skillet, cooked everything, and I was on my knees the whole time because the table's so low. <laughs> but yeah, I love cooking. Adam Neely, that, that sounds familiar. That sounds familiar. Chris Ramsey with puzzles. And then Agand Matt Matters. Agand Matt Matters. Chess. What was that? That Queen's that thing on Netflix? That was a good show. I watched that. Did you, guys, did you watch that, Frank? Foresty Frost. For, Foresty Forest. I like a, a there was a channel, uh Eamon and Beck. Eamon and Beck, they're uh like van lifers. They were traveling around the world, but they came back to Canada and now they're like uh, renovating a cabin. I like their I like their channel too. Ever forward. Ever forward. Carlos Bustamante. All right. Don't hit the mask off again. Yeah. I will get so much hate. <laughs> I probably might get banned on uh, YouTube. I, I'm not. I did make a mask. I sewed a mask. I was so proud of myself. I made that whole video. I had this crappy little uh, sewing machine. I was like, let me see if I could uh, make a mask. Because you, as you guys know, I'm super cheap, so I try to make as much stuff as I can. So I uh, I made that mask, and I was, I was pretty happy. And that's actually a pretty popular, pretty popular uh, video of mine. People are watching it. Gordon Christie, I just got my $700, $700 refund from Costco for my two years, 24-hour fitness mem membership. Wow. That's pretty good. Frank, Rick Beto and Adam Neely do music stuff. Okay. Kelly Bendy, wear your damn mask, LOL. In uh, New Hampshire, we're about 80% compliant and we're doing okay. Yeah. Man, Texas, I don't know what's wrong with these people. Sorry, if you ever, if you are an anti-masker, you know, wear a mask. <laughs> Freaking A. So crazy. It's like I'll go to Walmart and and they'll be staring right at you just so you could just so that just so that they that those so that just so that you know that they know that you're looking at them because they're not wearing a mask. It feels like that to me anyway. Probably just me. But yeah, wear a mask. Uh John JD a channel. Outdoor Chef Life. Chef does outdoor for foraging and fishing and outdoor cooking and crappy. Yeah, I, I, I forget what channel it was I watched. There was a guy. He would, like, cook on a, on a stone. It was pretty cool. Like, he would cook steak and eggs and everything. I love cooking channels. I love all these cooking channels. Uh, what was that one channel? There was a Bon, bon Appetit. They, had, they got in trouble because they didn't have enough, you know, enough of everything. <laughs> the Queen's Gambit. Yeah, that the Queen's Gambit, Agatha Mator actually analyzed some of her games. Oh, that's cool. I think I might have saw a thumbnail. It might have been, you know, put out there for me. All right. Let's go ahead and do the massage gun entry. I know Frank was in there. I know Kelly was in there. So we are going to give away this Taltronics massage gun over here. You guys are so lucky. And 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 again, if you guys are here. If I get 35 entries, if I get 35 entries, if I get 35 thumbs up on this video right now, I will give away something to one of you guys. You'll, you'll have to email me after this video, and I'll have it, uh, and I'll only have it open until uh, midnight. So make sure to like this video. If I get 35, and like I said before, ask your ex, ask ask your girlfriend, your wife, your dog, whoever has YouTube, tell them to like the video. I don't care as long as I get 35. It doesn't matter how I get it, as long as I get it. And then you will get something. So try to get it. So, all right. So here we go. There were six people. Let's try to share the screen. Let's see. It could be a little dangerous. Let's see. Right here. This one. This one might be it. Yeah. All right. So these were the people that are entered to win. Let's take off this thing. So these are the people that are entered to win. There's Frank, there is Kelly, there's Sherwin, there's Nam Kim, Frank, and Tommy. So there are six people eligible to win the prize. So let's go ahead and stop sharing that. And then we'll share another one. Boom. Okay. So we're going to put six people on here, random.org. And I'm going to hit the generate button and see who won. 
Number six. Number six. I don't think you, Frank, or Kelly won, but number six was Tommy, I think. Let's see if I get that on the screen. Let's see if I get that on the screen. So, there it is. Yeah, so the winner was Tommy. Tommy, Tommy. So, Tommy, you won. Hopefully, you uh, see this and email me. If, you, if Tommy, if you don't see this, I'm not going to give it to you, and maybe I'll give it to somebody else. So, Frank and Kelly, you still have a chance to win. So, How do I get this out of here? Stop sharing screen. All right. Let's go back to the comment section. What's going on? Target is more mask friendly than Walmart. Yeah. I don't know. I don't see anybody wearing masks around here. All right. So uh, I want to talk about the uh, virtual one that, we're, that I'm going to have. <laughs> Somebody did give me an, an idea about a virtual run, and that was to actually, uh, she said that she paused her watch one time for a race. And it was basically she did a 5K to see how fast she could do it, but you're allowed to pause your watch as many times as you can. Is that interesting or is that dumb? What do you think? Like it pause as much as you can to get a fast 5K. That's an idea. Maybe we'll do that. Uh, there's also, <laughs> there's also, there's also, um, uh, I like Kelly's idea of wearing a Santa hat and we could do, uh, 12 days of Christmas. We'll, we'll do it on uh, what uh, on the 13th, on December 13th, and you could run a any kind of combination of 12 days. So you could run 1.2 miles, you could run 7.5 miles, or you could run 12 miles. And each one of those will give you an entry. So if you run 1.2 miles, you get an entry. If you run uh, 7 7.5 miles, you get an entry. And if you run 12 miles, you get an entry. And then you could either just run one time or run all three of them. So you'll get three entries. What do you guys think about that one? Does that even make sense? So no pausing, Jason. I, I knew pausing wouldn't be too popular. Kelly, I had a pretty good shot with six entries. Hopefully Tommy doesn't check. <laughs> I know, there's only six people that entered. There's not too many people tonight. So tell you, get your dog, get your cat, form them a YouTube page. Come on, I know all you other YouTubers have like multiple YouTube channels. Like this video, we get 35, 35 likes, and I'll send you guys something for Christmas. Wait, how you like that? So Jason says no to pausing. 50 100 meter sprints. 50 100 meter sprints or a 50 meter, 50 meter and 100 meter sprint. Because 50 100 meter sprints, that would be pretty. Uh... Oh, is he is he doing the math for me? <laughs> all right. Run a 5K, but only up and downstairs. Huh. Interesting. Kelly Bandetti, almost like intervals. Are we even close? We're probably not even close tonight for the uh, 35 likes. I have to see on my other, on my phone. We're at 13, guys. Looks like I'm going to be getting anything. <laughs> See, I told you I like this video with my other three accounts. Yeah. I could like it with my other. I have like uh, four accounts. <laughs> that's, that's a secret to YouTubers, man. You got to, you got to, if nobody wants to subscribe to you, you got to subscribe to yourself. If nobody likes your, if nobody likes your videos, you got to like your own video. That's the way it is. Get those YouTube algorithms. That's the way, that's the way it's got to be. Hey, Swap Meat Shops, you, you did not win, but uh, Tommy won. Uh, I, I get, did the giveaway, and uh, you didn't win. But if he doesn't contact me, then you could win the massage gun. So, you, 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 Kelly, and Frank all still have a chance to win this massage gun. And if I get 35 likes, I will be giving away. I think I'll give away the shirt. I will give you guys a Goku Runner Club shirt. Yeah, on your size. It won't be an extra large. This was actually a little bit too big for me. I mean, it looks okay, right? So make sure to hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video. 
All right. So let's see. Anybody have any other running YouTube channels that they watch? I like uh, Maki Chen. He's a uh, he's a uh, strictly dumpling. He 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 eats food. I'm so I'm so fat, huh? <laughs> I just talk about food all the time. <laughs> but I like watching food channels. I like I like watching people eat food. Another good channel. If you guys if you guys like food channels, you guys should watch. You guys should watch the best ever food review channel. That dude is great. He he has he has a whole team with him and. Uh, I remember when he first started, he had like less than a thousand subscribers and uh, he was like, nobody watches my videos. Kind of the similar feeling that I'm feeling uh, that nobody watches my, 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 uh, my videos. And he would say that all the time. And now he has like 3.4 million vid uh, subscribers. Crazy. So, but yeah. So uh, best ever food review show. That's, that's a great channel. All right. Let's, let's go through these, uh, through these things or start a YouTube channel. No one watches like my mom, my current run film. You need to have more, more interviews with those things. That's the problem. I'm, I think I'm subscribed to it, but there's no content. 35 likes. Hold on. Haha. -ha. Swap meat shops. His channel is, he has a big channel. So uh, he, he's, he's going to get his swap meat shop nation to uh, get you guys, uh, get you guys all the likes. Oh my, just drop something. Just drop something. All right, let's do a little fun unboxing. So I did get this in the mail and uh, it's from Trend Labs. They sent me this, so, so Trend Labs. And it is little furry, little furry uh, like insoles. I thought it was kind of interesting. So basically, you get the the tread labs. These are uh, basically uh, like arch support shoe, arch support stuff. So this is a carbon fiber one, pretty expensive, and it actually cracked. So if you guys can see that, the carbon fiber cracked. But basically, you take that top off and replace it with this, and now you have fun furry shoes. So that's uh, that's what I got too. All right. I listed about six channels up higher. Man, let's go, let's go look. Let's go look. Let's go look. All right, here we go. The old Tony and A Av. Don't know that one. Me, my heating guy. Somebody's doing some uh, renovations at their house. Living uncontained. Sounds like an interesting one. Vecor. I'm assuming that's for your abs. That's a lot of ab work. Let's game it out. And then uh, the tallest mountain in Texas is 20 miles from me. Huh. You live in, where do you live, Frank? Oh, I think you live in Arizona, right? You So you live near El Paso, I'm assuming? There was a uh, Franklin Mountains. That's, what, that's the one I wanted to do. It's just so far. It's a freaking... Uh, I live on. I live all the way on East Texas, and El Paso is all the way in West Texas. It's funny because once you enter like the Beaumont area, there is a, a sign that says, "I think it's like whatever, fourteen hundred miles to El Paso, or however, however long it is. I'm not sure, but it's funny. But it's too far. It's it's closer to me to go to Chicago than it is to go to El Paso. All right. Oops. All right, here we go. I'm feeding the horses with you in my pocket, and I thought you said you I said you were furry. <laughs> no, my insoles are furry. I have some other shoes that I got from uh, Deckers, and those are awesome, man. Those are uh, that's a good present. I'm gonna do a uh, a Christmas video like every other running YouTuber. What to get? What, what to get your runner friend for Christmas? That's going to be a video coming up. You guys are going to be tired of all these uh, review videos and shopping videos, but it is the time of year for that kind of stuff. All right, does Trot still do races there? You know, I, I think I watched a uh, a live, like a live Facebook feed that he did, uh, Rob. Trot is a local ultra running 
like trail racing over here in Texas. And uh, I think he said he was coming back to El Paso. He wanted to go, go back to El Paso and bring those, bring that buck, that buckle back because they do like the day of the dead kind of medals and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, hey, Frank, if I go to El Paso, you go, you go to El Paso, we'll meet up there. You'll probably uh, run circles around me, but it'd be good to meet you, man. It'd be good, good to meet you. All right, guys. So that's going to be it, I think. Let's see. Gordon, he was supposed to run the race. He said, I was supposed to be running 100 miles this weekend. Shame I didn't train. And it's Brazos was canceled. Yeah. So many races were canceled. I wanted to go to Brazos, Ben, and just film. I would have filmed your race. Gordon, tell me, tell me the next time you do an ultra marathon, I want to film somebody's race that's not me so I can do a lot more interesting stuff, more interviews, more B-roll, more drone footage. Although I did get in trouble for shooting some drone footage. Every time I use my drone, that's why that's why I don't buy a new one. Uh, but I get in trouble. But I want to I want to make a good little uh, documentary of somebody's race. I think it would be fun. Frank says the trails at Franklin Mountains are brutal. Yeah, my friend, he said he did it. He's a pretty fast guy. He runs like, you know, 130 half marathon or faster. And uh, he said that was one of the hardest races that he he's ever did because a lot of the trails there is like all like, like slippery, like rock, loose rock. So I think he fell, he busted his knee and he, he was limping for uh, most of the race. And uh, I, he told me a story. He said when he was there, somebody told him, like he wanted to quit or busy was hurting. And he's like, you're supposed to hurt during an ultra marathon. That's, that's how you're supposed to feel. So pretty fun. The year I got the runs, Jason he says, when COVID is over, can I come do a 50 K in Houston stage? Yes, yeah, sure. I don't live in Houston. I live about, you know, two hours away from Houston, but my brother's over there. He, uh, you're more, he has a room. You're more than welcome to stay over there. You and Jennifer can come over. Do a 50k. It's flat over here, Jason. You're not gonna you're not gonna uh, experience any hills like you did at, in those crazy hill hill videos that you you do. But all right, guys, it's 8:46, getting late. Appreciate you guys. Did we get 35 likes? Let's see. Let, let me check real quick if we got 35 likes. Not this time, huh? We we, we got up to 18. Unfortunately, didn't get all the likes we were supposed to do, but. Maybe next video, maybe next week. Tell your friends, tell your dogs, tell your horses, Kelly, to uh, form that YouTube page, and we'll get those likes next time, and I'll send you guys something out. So, uh, and be sure I, I might email you guys, and you, you guys might be winning the the uh, the massage gun if Tommy doesn't contact me. So, you know, good luck. So, let's just go through these real quick. I love to see your race built. Yeah. I, those are my favorite things. That's why I started my YouTube my YouTube channel to make race videos. Like my first ones weren't that great, but those are my favorite films to make. Those are my favorite videos to make. I had to, uh, you know, do other stuff because there's no films anymore. And ultra marathons are my favorite ones to make. Those those are the best stories. They really are. Sharp rock, sharp plants. All right, all right, guys. I appreciate it. Twenty likes. Didn't get quite. Didn't get there today. Maybe next live stream. Jo join me in the next live stream. Make sure to leave a comment also out of this chat section. Leave a comment underneath this video. I appreciate that. All right, guys. See you guys next video. Have a good night. Adios.